Welcome to this video tutorial by VectorBrush.com. Today I will teach you how to use the Live Trace option in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start off with this image right here. This image right here is a drawing of a B and it's a JPEG. Ideally you want your image to be 300 dpi and you want, you want it to be either a JPEG, a TIFF, or a GIF. So we're going to grab this image and drop it into Adobe Illustrator. Okay, with our image opened, you're going to go to the selection tool and you're going to click on the image. Now, if we zoom in, you're going to notice that you're going to, you're going to see all the pixels because this is a it's a raster file. So, what we want to do is we want to turn this into a, a vector file. So with the image selected, we're going to go to Live Trace, which should be up here, or you could go to Object and select Live Trace. You would select Live Trace and Make. So we're going to click on Live Trace. We're going to we're going to get this pop-up menu and we're going to click OK. Once you click OK, uh, you have several options. Um, each, each option gives you a different effect. Uh, some of them smooth out the lines, others uh, are put a little bit more detail to the art. Um, it, it just depends. I personally like to use simple trays, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to select simple trays, and I'm I'm not going to adjust these settings, but I uh, I recommend playing with these settings and finding what works best for you. Once you click on simple trays, hit expand, and as you can see, your artwork now is all vector. It's no longer a raster image. And you could always go back to this image and actually um, adjust some of the lines if you like. But for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, we're going to end right here. You have now made this raster image into a vector image. If you have any other questions or if you want to see more tutorials, check out VectorBrush.com. Thank you.